Hey YouTube Maxi 2021 here coming at you with another unboxing video this time for the uh collector's edition of Umihara Kawase Bazooka that uh Crickly Limited Games did. Now this was originally supposed to be shipped out in November, but something came up. I don't know what exactly it was. Just make sure there's nothing else in the box. Okay, yep, nothing else in the box. That's good. Yeah, I don't know what exactly came up. I just know that uh, that is another game like got delayed a few times. So let's pull this out. Oh, bubble wraps a pain in the ass. All right, all right. There we go. Ooh, that looks nice. That came with a steel bookcase. Wait, 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 wait. This is where the game. Okay, I guess the actual game is in the box. Um, I haven't played the game yet, mainly because I was waiting for this to uh, come in. But, uh, like I said, I kept getting delayed for whatever reason. So, let's just uh, get the cellophane off the uh, box real quick. Alright, this is actually pretty interesting. You don't usually see uh, games with slip cases where it comes out on the side. Okay, I'm gonna have to just... There we go. Alright. There's the back. Uh... Yeah, I haven't played the game yet. All I know is it's supposed to be like a Smash Bros. clone. Only with uh, the physics of an Umihara Kawase game. This must be the full roster. All right, let's see. We got the uh, cards, got like uh, some stickers. I'll look at these uh, cards in a bit. Ooh, this one looks nice. The soundtrack. I'll have to open that up. Let's see what else we got. Got poster. Got an art book. Yeah, I unfortunately found out that, um, after it happened, but they had, uh, this thing where you could, like, send in a question or something to Toshinobu, I mean, Toshinobu Kondo, the guy that made the Umihara, Umihara Kawase series, as well as the, uh, main artist, but, uh... Let's see. All right. Okay, yeah, all, all this is shown is just like characters or whatever. But uh, here's the game. It's pretty interesting how it's got uh shit, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a sketch or something? Yeah, it's like, like a, a sketch for the box art, just like what they did for, um, the collector edition for, uh, Sayonar Umihara Kawase. Plus, plus. Alright, let's see, what's on the inside? Ooh, it's reversible! I think? Looks reversible. Okay, got a little, ah, okay, it's a little, uh, guide button thing. That's cool. I don't really see the difference between the covers. I, I, don't, I don't know. That's eh, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna definitely look through the art book, show it on the video or whatever. Get some characters. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? And some more characters. Give me a second. Uh, anyways, yeah, you got more characters. Ah, okay, yeah, it says the game that each character is from. Wait, 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 let me check. Okay. Or like, I, I guess it's like whatever the most recent game they were in. And as far as I'm aware, all of the characters in uh, the roster are from 
either uh, games that the devs made, or the uh, yeah, the devs made, or um, like two different devs. I forget which ones, but. I gotta feel okay. It's weird seeing her hold like a gun or whatever. Cause she's always uh wielding her uh fishing rod. Alright. Got debt out of the way. Okay, here's the sticker, get main sticker. No, let's look at the poster. Give me a second so I can uh, unfold it. Alright, so you got one... It's actually a double-sided poster. You got one side that's got the uh, artwork for the box thing. For uh, both boxes or whatever. It's interesting how they got uh, the bazooka part of the title over um, the main name. At least for the English release. With the uh, Japanese release, they got Bazooka underneath the Japanese characters. But here is the other side. So that's cool. Alright. Let's fold this back up. Put that back in. I think that's where it went. Uh, give me a second to open up. Oh, I guess it's not... That big of a soundtrack, unless they just, like, brought in music from other entries in the series. Give me a second so I can open this. Alright, I opened up the soundtrack. There is honestly not much going on on the inside of it. You got, uh, pretty much the same image on the front cover. All they have is, like, this slip of paper. I even checked underneath the CD and there's nothing under it, so it's whatever. Excuse me. Alright, let's look at... Wait, no, before I get to the art book, let's look at these cards. So I just gotta... How do you get this loose? Ah, I see. Ah, come on. Almost got... There we go, there we go. Uh, I see, I see. Alright, alright. Okay, let's see what we got, what we got. Let's uh, use my right hand this time. Oh, disregard that. Okay. App, please. Don't know who that is. Alright, it's got uh, some artwork. Got skills, special. I don't know what any of this means. Since I haven't played the game. Okay, she's from the Cotton City. Oh, it's in alphabetical order! Okay. Ariel. Okay. Got her, like, in-game sprite. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. Yeah, that's neat. Okay, so you got, like, the character's portrait. There's Cotton. And you got their uh, in-game sprite. That's cool. Okay, here's Cotton in her uh, Mihara Kawase Fresh outfit. And that's also her sprite from said game. Daichi. This guy's new to this game. A YouTuber. What? Oh, wow. A YouTuber Let's Player. <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. Bombardina Burning. That's really interesting. Wouldn't be surprised if they add a VTuber to one of these games at some point. Ooh, Mihara Kause VTuber. I need that. Let me go. Mm. 
There she is. Ooh, succubus. Okay, that's an interesting choice for a character. <laughs> Luffy. I have no idea what Doki Doki Poya I mean Poyat I mean Poyatchio. I have no idea what that is. I think success made that. Or like whoever it is that did the uh, cotton games. Yeah, I, when uh when they revealed this game, I thought this was a version of um Umi Harakase from the manga that came out for the series like years ago. I think she had blue hair in that, but this is a completely different character, just with same hairstyle, I guess. Interesting game sprite. Who the hell? Wait, give me one second. All right, got no go. cool that her and Emiko came back because the only other appearance they had since Sayonara Umi Harakawase was Blade Strangers. Uh, sorry about that. I had to take care of something for a second. Uh, okay, there's another character. A dog? Okay. Oh. I see. That's quite interesting. Oh, didn't realize she had, uh, oh, wait, of course I did. I just completely forgot. I guess because she didn't have, like, a proper character design and brush. Okay. Sonic. I've heard of Ring Dream. I don't know anything about it. Oh, she's got gears in her hair. That's cool. She must be uh, new to this game. Cool. And the last character. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of characters. I didn't realize the roster was that big. And lastly, the art book, uh, yeah, I found out after the fact, but, uh, if you replied to, like, this email or something, you could have, uh, asked Toshinobu Kondo a question, and I didn't, I, I, I felt very distraught, if I had to <laughs> put it one way, but, anyways, uh, yeah, I got the artwork. Got a letter from him. Okay. Oh. Yep. And then you got like there are sprites alternate colors. Wait, wait, let me let me go back. Okay, that one's got to be based off her uh, manga appearance. Okay, so we. Ooh. Uh, the cat's going crazy behind me. Uh, anyways. Almost done. Uh... Okay. Okay. All right. 
Ooh, I like that one. Oh, King Record. Okay. Ooh, that sounds interesting. All right. Okay, okay, yeah, it's characters that are original to this game. And games that success in Studio Sizen have made. Studio Sizen's the one that does the Mihara Kawase games. Okay. Would be cool to see these new characters come back at some point in the future of the series. Oh, wow, Star Pupils. That's cool. Alright. <laughs> it's on YouTube channel. YouTube Marines play volleyball. Alright. That's interesting. They got an actual YouTuber. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. Right? The flash is probably like distracting. Okay. That's interesting. It's just cool. They got like a dog. Alright. Oh, God. I oh, okay. Oh, no, this is the thing where you can ask him questions. Oh, man. I think. Yeah, yeah, this is... This is probably... Oh, ho, ho. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I was wondering about that. Oh, oh, this is about the... Okay, so these are about the, this game. This is about the, um... The series as a whole. Alright. Okay. Neat. Okay. All right, that's cool. Wow. Okay, you got uh, character designs for the new characters. So, that's cool. Alright, and got some more sketches. That's cool. I like that. Oh, that's it? Wait, how many pages was that? 63 pages. Wow. That was nice. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, this probably would have been my game of the year for 2020 if I would have gotten to play it last year. But, uh, yeah, that didn't happen. So, uh, yeah, that, that's, uh, pretty much it. Thanks for watching um, oh, right, 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 I forgot to mention it in the last unboxing video I did for, um, the Near Replicant Collector's Edition, but, uh, Umihara Kawase, 
Uh, Bazooka is currently available on Switch, PS4, and Steam. I don't know what the retail price is since I got this collector's edition, but I'd imagine it's no more than 40 Maybe? I don't know about it on Steam, but I think on PS4 and Switch it's gotta be like at least 30 or 40 So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, seeing, like, whatever next video I do is. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, feel free to drop them in the comments, I guess.